Welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's been a crazy week. We just had Spy jump a lot in the last two days. Who would have thought that the reports on inflation would make it jump so fast? Uh, basically, market's up quite a bit. I'm down quite a bit, <laughs> despite having bullish positions. And we'll talk about how I messed that up. But first, I want to take a moment to uh, do like a public service announcement. I know last month was Cybersecurity Awareness Month. And it's just kind of weird that just after that in Discord, somebody showed me that someone was trying to impersonate me to potentially get into their account to you know, steal their money. So a person, what they did is they went into our Discord server using some other name, so it didn't arouse suspicion. Then they appear offline, and then they change their name to mimic my Discord name. But what they can't do is they can't make this match. And basically, they, what they were doing was messaging users. And this one reached out to me and asked me if this was a new account, which obviously I did not do. Uh, it makes me sick that people would try to steal money and just kind of be aware that I will never ask you for like your username and password. I'll never log into your account and trade on your behalf or even ask you to download any kind of software that would give me like access or anything like that. So if you have someone that's reached out to you from like YouTube, uh, be very wary of what you click on. In fact, you should think before you click. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you uh, to this person for showing me that this was a thing so we could take care of it and alert our users to be aware of that. Any YouTube creator is not going to be reaching out to you directly to offer to like help you in any kind of way in that regard, most likely. So be very cautious if someone does reach out to you. It's different if you reach out to me first and we can talk, but you know, if someone else reaches out to you first and you're not expecting it, you know, be critical about what you're giving out. So anyway, going to the market. Uh I may have played a little bit too much and uh got a little too greedy. Uh you can see I took some uh big losses for the size of my account. I think my account's actually down like 15%. Uh, ending the week around 4,600 for my net lick, which means I dropped about 15% from last week. And basically, early on, I got a quick win. I did a little quick day trade on SPY and... Not SPY, sorry, on Amazon. I bought a call when the setup looked good to me, got a quick $88 on a day trade, which would be my third day trade in a five-day window, meaning I cannot do that anymore for the rest of the week, essentially, until Friday finished. And that's because I did two last week on Friday. So that got me a little too confident, I guess you could say. And I decided to put on some quick expiration contracts on Tesla and SPY. I did a bold put spread on Tesla at the 180 to 175. Then on Thursday, Tesla spiked up, came down, and I decided, you know what? I'm going to close my short position on Tesla and try to write Tesla down. I thought the market was doing a fake out. And I was going to write it down, be clever, so I can make a really cool YouTube video. Yeah, see, I closed part of the spread, and I can write it down and make all this money. <laughs> well, obviously, that did not happen. Uh, after I <clears throat> closed my short call, or, or sorry, short put on Tesla, Tesla just went right back up, and my long put was worth less money. At one point, the long put was worth just a little bit more than what I had to pay to close my short put. So I could have came out with like a a wash essentially, but I was greedy and held on to it and thus ended up losing a pretty big chunk right there on Tesla. The other play I did is I did a bear call spread on SPY. On Tuesday afternoon, I think, no, sorry, Wednesday afternoon, I was actually up 50 bucks and the most I could make on this position was about 82 cents. And for some reason, I didn't close it out. I don't know why, like the thought came to mind, I should probably close this out. There might be meetings going on or something. I didn't close it out because I was greedy. I was like, there's no way SPY will shoot up to 389. We're sitting at 375 right now. It's so far away, I'm safe. So I left it on to try to collect that little extra bit of premium. 
on a contract that was expiring very soon, which was a mistake. And obviously, I paid for that mistake. You know, paid for that greed as well. As well. So two big losses from doing that. And then that kind of put me on tilt. I'm not going to lie. So I went ahead and I closed out a lot of other positions because I felt like I needed to reevaluate my trading. Like the market was just doing some crazy stuff. I didn't see why everything was going up yet. I didn't have the news available to me. And so I kind of panicked, closed down some trades. A lot of them were still in profit town. So I took those. I have a bear call on Netflix I still have on. And even that's still moving against me now that the market seems to be going up. I still expect the market to go down right now. So I am left that one on. But this one's a 10 wide spread. So I could lose up to $1,000 on this play. Minus the uh, premium I received. And that's kind of where I'm sitting at now. I got greedy. Thought I was more clever than the market. And the market said, nope. Don't do that. <laughs> So I took a big hit to this little account and still going to have to, you know, swallow my pride and get back to it. Looking at my trades, like the stuff that I was doing long term, those trades were doing fine. I didn't have to close them. I should have just left them on. Like a lot of these were bullish positions. So like even now as the market goes up, like these would have been worth a lot more than had I closed them on the uh, 10th. And... So my original plan for my spread seems to be working. So I just need to stick to it more. What happened was I got fancy because I made a quick profit off an Amazon call where I was trying to play the market and day trade again. And that led me to adding two more risky positions. But as you can see, this just wiped out all the gains I've been doing on the account to begin with and then some because now my account is net lick is down at 4,600. So about 400 bucks in the hole from where I started off as a result of being greedy, greedy, greedy. <laughs> uh, go ahead and we'll pull up the trade logs and you can kind of see what was going on. Although for some reason it's not showing some of the trades, even though I had this set to the last seven days. Like the Netflix position I put on, it's not showing. As well as when I first put on the bold put spread, or sorry, the, the bear call spread on Spy. So I have to try to figure out why that is, but you can still see like there's the there's the realized losses, and then some of these like this was a bull, a bear call spread that was two legs, but I closed them in individual legs. So you add those up, and that would be what was in the options sheet that you just saw. Uh, yeah. So that kind of wraps this quick video up. Uh, stay safe out there, guys. I hope that this bullish movement has really helped you. And if it didn't, I hope that you know how to manage your losses that you have going so far. And if you have questions, ask them in the Discord, but don't expect someone to reach out directly. <laughs>